Hey, I'm here with Greenbrier West boys basketball coach Jerry Robertson. Uh, Jerry, you brought three players along. You want to introduce them or should they do their self? Uh, they, they speak okay. well. We'll let them do it. Uh, Matthew Thomas. Michael Kinnaid. Dale Boone. Uh, uh, first of all, coach, you got a um, lot of these guys back. Um, you did lose Chase McClellan, a couple other players. What are your expectations going into this year? I think we have a chance to be really good. Um, when you have that many kids back and – you know, we've had a great effort and great attitude to start the season. Um, get you excited to get ready and go play a game. We're getting ready to go scrimmage tomorrow, and I know our kids are excited to see what we can do against somebody else. And It's really been fun the first couple of weeks. Um, we have a chance to be really good. There's some things we need to do better. We need to shoot the ball better. We need to rebound a little bit better. And I think our kids know that, and they've kind of embraced the challenge so far. Well, you got the guy beside you here. He looks like he's ready for business. <laughs> I mean, dressed for business, dressed for success. Um, what are your expectations coming in this year for the squad? I mean, from the moment last season ended, I mean, our goal, as well as the other two guys that are here with me, we're winning the state championship this year. That has been the goal from the get-go. We're planning on going to Charleston and just – winning it all. I mean, that's the plan at the beginning of the season. We go in to win every single game. He's got the tie on for a reason. He's chairman <laughs> of the board. <laughs> Says it right. <laughs> um, uh, Mr. Cano, what uh, what do you think? Well, you're, you, you got some guys on your team very confident. Oh, yeah. what are your, where are your expectations at? Oh, I'm very confident for this season. We got everybody's coming out working hard. Everybody's wanting to get better. And I think we're going to improve every game, get better every game, and go to Charleston. Dale, what, what about it? You, your expectations, expectations coming in? Expectations are a lot of winning and a state championship. Coach, when you, you hear all this uh, talk about you, know, you guys are very confident, that has to give you some confidence yourself as a coach because they're so high and confident on that they're going to do well. I think it's a fine line of, you know, you don't want to be so confident that you take somebody for granted. And I don't, you know, seeing how hard our kids have worked the first couple of weeks, I don't think we're going to do that, you know, we just need to look right down the road at James and Rowe and see what they did last season. And, and that's the goal for us. And like these guys said, we want to get back to Charleston. We were there a couple years ago and, and fell short. And we want to get back down there and win games. Um, you and I talked earlier a couple weeks ago about uh, the fact that this region is so tough. You guys have had a um, habit of going into other places and knocking off. You knocked off Williamson, I think, when they were number one twice. Right. Uh, West Virginia State, and I want to ask the guys about this too. But just the fact that you can do that is that uh, is that because you play in a region like this, and where you could go down to James Monroe two years ago, you beat them when they were probably favored on their in their own court. Uh, you've had four different teams from this region represented at the state tournament. It could be anybody in any given year. Is this region, this section, the region you guys playing prepared you to do that? Beat number ones. I think our region has been the best Class A region in the state for several years. Um, you know, the results in Charleston show that. And, uh, you know, I think we've tried to make sure that our schedule stays tough. We play the Williamstown again. We play Polka this year. You know, we play Wyoming East a couple times, Independence and Liberty over in the, the Beckley tournament. You know, we have a tough schedule, and, and that's what you want because if, if you're not prepared for March when it gets here, then you're not going to face those good teams and have a shot. Uh, what about that? You guys will be able to go into these places and beat uh, top-ranked teams. Um, does that say a lot about just the program and uh, the fact that you guys do play good teams and good competition? Uh, not everybody could probably say they knocked off the top team. Um, and whether you were there or not, at the time just the program has done that. You know, what's that say for the program? Well, the biggest thing, I mean, like you said, what it says for the program is just awesome. But our guys in the locker room, when we go into a game – it doesn't matter whether they're the best team in the state or they're the worst team in the state. Our guys want to win that game. So we're going to go in there and we're going to do our best regardless. And we're going to do everything we can to win that game. And we take each game very seriously regardless of the circumstances. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Michael, what about that? I mean, you've, been, you've been a starter on this team for a few years. You guys can go to these places and beat top-ranked teams. Uh, a couple of years ago, you beat James Monroe down there for a chance for the opportunity to go to the state tournament. I mean, what's it say for the program where you guys are at? I mean, you almost always expect to win. Yeah, well, we always expect to win, and I think having a tougher region and a tougher schedule makes the games in March not necessarily easy, but more prepared for. And it's just great to be prepared for, it. and it says a lot about the program. 
Dale, what about that? Be beating some of these teams like Williamstown uh, twice uh, in the last three years. I mean, they were number one in the state. I mean, the better teams we have to play, the more we have to come together and play better together. So the higher competition we play, the more we'll be prepared for states. Coach, do you see these guys being that the guys that want to accept these kind of, those type of challenges? I mean, um, it, it's a, they do. But I mean, were you, you are you excited by the fact that you got guys that want to accept that challenge and they don't back away from playing, want to play the teams in the region and, and teams that are ranked in the state? Well, you know, we talked about it last year about our schedule was going to be tougher. Um, even this summer, we went, you know, we took an overnight trip and went and played St. Mary's and Parkersburg South and Poco on, in over a couple of days. Uh, you know, our kids want to get better. Uh, some kids, I think, back down when adversity faces them. And I think we have the right mentality that when adversity comes, because it's going to come to every basketball team, we're going to look at nine, we're going to come get, get better and play well. You know, I think our team chemistry has been super. Um, very unselfish. We have a lot of different guys that can score, and I think they don't care who's the leading scorer. They care about who has the most score on most points on the scoreboard. So it's great when you have that kind of mentality. Uh, what would you say your role was going to be on the team this year? Well, last year, I'll be honest, I was more of a bench player, but my goal is to, regardless, just boost the morale of the team. I want every single one of our guys to go into these games and just execute at whatever they're doing. So, for instance, Michael, he's going to rebound good every game and he's going to finish in the paint well. And then Dale, he's going to hit all the mid-range shots he needs to and as well help with rebounding. So every single one of our guys just needs to help with executing their role. And my role, I don't know. We'll see how it goes this year, but my, I don't know. Maybe knock down threes, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I believe Coach might take it over for you. Tell you he what, like a, does he not sound like a coach? He's going to be a good coach one day. I fully believe that. <laughs> I think so. Mike, I know you're a, you're a rebounding guy. What do you want to do this year? And is there something you want to do more than the you? I know you've been a rebound guy. And yeah. A guy can finish in the paint. Is there something else you want to do? Uh, improve my foul shots a lot. I would like to do that, and maybe be able to shoot from the mid range a little bit. And hit a three would coach you. You probably don't want him posting up. Do you? I mean, you know, he's really good in the post, but if he needs to step out and shoot the three, he can shoot it. I have a lot of confidence in his shot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you probably just screwed up there, Coach. <laughs> uh, Dale, what, I'm, you're a shooter, and uh, I know especially late in the year, you got, a little, you got kind of started behind the three-point line. Um, what, what are your goals for this year for yourself, and what do you see yourself, your role being? Just to help the team win at any cost, whether it be a shooter, just a fender, anything. All right, hey, fellas, I appreciate it. Great job. Uh, uh, Coach, I think you might be replaced, and I think you're going to have a new shooter on your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it easier on me. Hey, we appreciate it. Thanks, yes, Jerry. Thank appreciate you, you guys. Thank, Thank you, guys. You.